Hello boys and girls, today we are going to revise some of our previous lessons and we will go to a new lesson, a new reading. We will read it with each other and we'll explain the meaning. But before that, let's remember the word who and which. I told you that who I use it for people and which for things and animal. Let's open our workbook, page 60, exercise one. Page 60, exercise one. An explorer. Still a lot of students, they ask me about the suffix here. How? Explore to find, it's a verb. Explorer, he is the person who explores, who finds out, who looks for something new, who search for something. How many times I repeated this one with all the students are telling me, teacher, repeat the suffix. Explorer here is a person we will look here with C who finds out about the new places, like the kids in the story. Journalists, journalists, people who work in the journal. Journal is the magazine, their occupation, okay, journalists. Still the students keep on asking me, teacher, how we know ER or IST. You have to memorize them, okay, but you have to know how to use them. Journalists are people. People, let's see. Are we going to take for people and person? Who or which? Of course, who? Okay, which one? It goes with journalists. Who write for a newspaper or magazine? This is their job. Journalist. Journal is the newspaper. Journalist, people who work. Their job. A lifeboat is a boat. Okay. Which one is a boat? Okay. Which is used to rescue, to protect people at sea. Scientists see science. Science is what, girls and boys? Science is the mad you study, okay? Science, alum. But when I say scientist, he's the alim. Scientist is a person. It goes with A, who sometimes works in a lab, laboratory. So, like Miss Nuseiba, she is, uh, she works there. Okay, in the lab, scientist. So you have to memorize scientist, but hear my lesson, the relative pronoun, who or which, of course, who. Carrots, carrots, vegetables are fruit, okay? Let's see, we take who or which for them. Okay, so it goes this one with D which grow under the, the ground, grow under the ground, okay? A camel is an animal, animal. So what I'm going to use here for the animal? Who? Of course, no, wrong. I'm going to use for the animal, which, so it goes with B, which lives in the desert. So, here the lesson. Who and which, we already know. That's it. Let's go to the suffix. ER, we memorize it. IST, we memorize it for verbs or nouns. But you have to know when I add the suffix here, it means their job. Their job. Like he, he writes, he is a writer. He dances, he is a dancer. Let's go to exercise two, 
page 60. We will use who or which. You have to read it. I'm just going to give you the clue, the key here. Places, of course, I'm going to use which. Okay. Deserts, um, of course, I'm going to use which. Okay. Areas, I'm going to use which. Because these are places, names, uh, or names of places or things. Okay. Astronauts, number four. Astronauts. Astronauts, people who work in space, who people who flies into space or go, uh, people who fly, I'm sorry, people who fly or go into space, astronauts. Okay, of course. Who? Because these are people, okay? We'll go to number five, scientists. Scientists, of course. People, these are people who, okay, dinosaurs, animals, which, living things, living things, like insects, like flies, uh, okay, uh, animals, mice, mouse, okay, living things, of course, which, okay, now, I will give you the answer. Hello, here are the answers. Explorer is a person with C. Journalists are people with E. A lifeboat is a boat with F. To rescue, to protect. Scientist is a person with A, he works where in the lab? Carrots and vegetables with D. A camel is an animal with B, which lives in the desert. Okay. Here are the answers. As I told you, places which, desert Sahara, which, area, which, Astronauts who? Five. Who? Scientists. Dinosaurs. Animal. Living things. Animals. Okay. Or insects. Okay. Which? Now, let's go to page 60 workbook. These sentences okay we will connect them with who and which the relative clause just when you send me on the note uh, uh, on whatsapp don't send me these lines just write these ones here we will do them with each other i <laughs> number one i'd like to meet a person who of course person who has been in uh, to uh, Antarctica, okay? Number two, I have got some jeans. Jeans, the pants, okay? Which were made in Hong Kong, okay? A penguin is a bird which can swim underwater. My friends, friends, are people who go to my school just copy these ones here okay who for people which for animals and thing okay do you remember students when we talked about who and that which and that 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 I can use it for both which and who, but you have to be smart here. Traveler. Ibn Battuta was a great traveler. Okay, who? Traveler. This is what? Suffix. I travel. Okay, I travel. Every year I travel. Ibn Battuta was a traveler. 
I add ER. This is one of the suffix. Who or which? Of course, who? Because I'm talking about Ibn Battuta here. He is what? Traveler. Okay, who? Was born in 1,304. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. 1,304. Okay, he started on an adventure. Adventure. Okay. Adventure, it means a thing. Mughamara. So I can't use who. I have to use which. Here I don't have which. So I'm using that. Which or that. I don't have which. So that. Of course, who know? No. Adventure is a thing. Is the Mughamara. So I must use which. Since I don't have which, I'm using that. Number three, first he joined a group of people who, of course, who, I'm not going to use which, who, because I'm talking about people, okay? If they put here which and that, of course, I'm going to take that, but people here, who? Look at here, okay, number five. He traveled much. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Then, number four. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Then he continued on a journey. A journey. T trip. So, of course, I'm not going to use who. I'll use that. Journey takes which and that. I don't have which, so I'm going to take that. Okay? That. Because it's a journey. It's a trip. It's a tour. Okay? Do you remember? I'm reminding you. Number five. Okay? The famous Italian traveler. The person who travels. Who or which? Of course, who. And I can put that, but I don't have that here. Who? Okay. Look, he met. Uh, uh, that he met. Uh, who? Who lived at? About the same time. Ibn Battuta described the people. Number six. People. People takes who? But since I don't have who? That. Not which, not which for people, not which for people. Number seven, okay. And the places, places, hello, places. It must take which, I don't have which. So I'm taking that, not who. Of course, this is wrong. Places, it must be that, I don't have that. Uh, it must be which, I don't have which, I take that. Okay? If you are someone who, someone, someone, a person, or people, someone, okay, or a man, or a woman, who, not which, who. If I have which and that, so I'm taking that. Since I have who, I'm taking who. Briefly speaking. Who for people, which for animals, and things. Since I don't have the option I have that, I take it for both. But here look at these two choices, these two options. For example, who and, and that. Adventure takes what? Which, I don't have which, so I put that, okay? Places takes which, I don't have which here, in here, so I take that, okay? Thank you. Let's go now to page, workbook, page 61. Page 61. 
See, Ibn Battuta was one of the greatest travelers. So, the D, okay, that we know about, uh, about from the past. He is famous, famous, it means known for the amazing journey, for the amazing trips. See, I'm reminding you of all <coughs> the words we studied. It goes with C, that he went on in the 14th century. He travels, his travel, sorry, his travels took him, okay, it goes with F, almost three decades. Okay, we will see the answer later on, but just I'm revising with you what the words here, okay? Now, this is very important. I want you to send me on what's up. Don't rewrite the whole sentence. No, I don't want you to rewrite the whole sentence, but how we join two sentences with each other. He, he takes who? Just I cross out he and I put who. Okay, Nell was an astronaut, astronaut who walked on the moon. No here. No period, I, see, just I join the two sentences. No, no period, no pronoun here. Look, Mount Everest, Everest is a mountain. It's in Nepal, okay? How I do it? So, which or that? Which or that, okay? is in Nepal. You will see the answer later on. No is it. No it. Cross out it. Here we will cross out he and we will put what? Who or that? It. We will cross out. Delete. It. We put. Since it's it. He. Uh, sorry. Who, uh, which or that? He. Cross here. Cross it out. Delete. We put who or that. They, of course, they, 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 but let's see they, people or uh, things. In the museum, there are some maps, maps. So these maps, which, of course, I cross out this, no period, delete the period, delete they, and put what, which, or that. Here you go. Still, we are on the work uh, working uh, on the workbook page sixty one. Ibn Battuta was one of the greatest traveler with D. He is famous. He's known for the amazing journey, for the amazing trip with C. His his travel took him with F. Decades, Saqud. Okay, Ibn Battuta talked with. Interesting people with A. This is from the reading itself. Okay. Number five with B. Number six with E. The most important thing here, who or that? Which or that? C. Mount Everest is a mountain. Which or that is in Nepal? I know it. No period. Just when you send me, send me these two and cross out it. Cross out he, no period. Hano was an Egyptian, uh, Egyptian explorer, who or that? See? Explored. No it, no he, no. No period. Here, no period. No, it, the sand cat is a small wild cat. Which or that? Because I'm talking about the cat. No period, it, it takes which? Animal. No period, 
and he, no he. Who or that? Marco Polo was a traveler who or that went to China. No period here, no day. I'm talking about the maps, maps, which or that. Just cross the, the period or the follow stop, the pronoun for thing, which or that, for animals, which or uh, for animals, which or that, for thing, which or that, for people, who that, and who that. This is our new topic our new class. Go to page 72, the reading. I prepared this list of a new vocab, of a new words you have to know before reading. Okay? We will know the meaning of these words, then we will read the paragraph with each other, will explain in details everything. Don't worry. I'm with you. Go to page 72, Famous shipwrecks. I will let you know the meaning of the title here. Here we have the word sink. What it means sink? Here dive underwater. Okay, the past of sink, sank. The third form of the verb have sunk. Okay, like a drink, he drank, he drunk. Okay, sink, sank, sunk. It means dive underwater. Famous, it means known. Miss Maha is famous. Hello, okay. Historians, people who study history. Wreck, broken or destroyed. Wreck, equipment, device, tool, Beneath, under, voyage, a long journey by ship, passengers, travelers, hurricane, a strong storm, unsinkable, not able to sink, not able to dive, search, find, believed, thought. These are some of the words in your reading passage. We will go in details, but you have to know the pronunciation. You have to know the meaning to understand the paragraph. We will talk about famous, historians, wreck, equipment, beneath, voyage, Passengers, hurricane, unsinkable, search, believed. Okay, these are the meaning. Try to understand the meaning. Yes, this is our new topic. We finished some of the words. Now, famous shipwrecks. Ship. You know, this is the ship, okay? Famous known, shipwrecks, the destroyed or the broken ship, okay? Look at the picture we have. This is a kind of treasure, and you all know treasure. We started the unit with the word treasure, right? When the boys and the girls were looking for the hidden treasure. And this is... A, uh, a ship, a big ship. Okay, we have two, this, this article and this article. We will talk about the Otoche ship and the Titanic ship. Okay, we have two kinds of ship, uh, we have two kinds of ships. Okay, now, Let's see, let's read the introduction with each other. Sailing can be dangerous. Is it dangerous? Of course, it's dangerous. 
Many ships and boats have sunk. Okay, have dived underwater. And there are many ships lying at the bottom of the sea in, in oceans all over the world. Studying shipwrecks is important to historians who study history because shipwrecks contain clues about what life was like at the time that they sank. Okay? We mentioned that we have sink, sank, have sunk. We finished this. Historians means people who study history. Clues. Clue. Do you remember when I taught you the passive? I used to tell you, look at the clue, the key, the piece of information, a piece of information to show you the answer, the clue or the key. Okay. Now, what I want from you after I explain this paragraph, I want you on WhatsApp to send me briefly, okay, what's happening, okay, here, okay? For example, you will tell me about the Otshe ship and the Titanic ship, okay, briefly and summarize it. I want the summary. I would like to hear your voices, okay? This is your homework. I'm waiting, okay, to hear your voices. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. You will tell me the summary of this paragraph. Okay, let's start. The Atouche was a Spanish ship that sank in a, a terrible hurricane. In 1622, it was carrying gold, silver, and jewels. People were sent to get the treasure because it was very valuable. However, the ship was lying more than 16 meters under the sea. At the time, it was very difficult to dive down so far. Then, in the same year, there was another hurricane and the shipwreck was destroyed, was broken, and the treasure was lost. The treasure lay lost beneath the sea for over 360 years. In 1969, a man called Mel Fisher started to search for the treasure, for the treasure. This time, divers had proper equipment. After 16 years, he found the parts of the wreck and most, and most of the treasure. He put the treasure in a museum in Florida, uh, okay, where you can see it now. Okay, now, what did you understand? I will, I'll help you, I'm here for you, okay? See, what was the name of the ship? A touche. It was a Spanish ship. This ship, what was the ship carrying? It was carrying silver, gold, silver, jewels, treasure. Okay. This ship sank underwater because of the storm, because of the hurricane, the storm. Okay. So the treasure was lost. Who found, uh, who found the treasure? Mel Fisher. He searched and he found it. Okay. After 16 years, he found it and he found the wreck, the destroyed ship. Where he put 
Where did he put the treasure in the museum? Where in Florida? Hurricane. Okay. Shipwreck. Search. Destroyed. Okay. Treasure. Okay. These are the new words here. And some words will be written in the next slide. Now, the Utisha uh, the Utisha ship was a Spanish ship. It was carrying gold, silver jewels. It sank under water because of the hurricane. Okay, the uh, they, uh, the treasure was lost. A man called Mel Fisher found it. He put it, he put the treasure in the museum in Florida. We finished the Otisha ship. Let's go to the Titanic ship. I think everyone watched this film. It was an interesting film. Okay, the Titanic was a passenger ship built in 1911. It was called the unsinkable ship because of its amazing design. No one believed, no one thought it could sink. Okay, on 10th April 1912, the Titanic left England for New York City on its first journey, voyage. Four days later, the ship hit an iceberg, iceberg in the Atlantic Ocean. The ship sank and over a thousand people drowned. For a long time, under for sorry, for a long time, underwater explorers searched for the missing wreck. In 1985, they discovered that uh, they discovered it. It they discovered it four kilometers beneath the surface. The ship was broken and it was impossible to move. But they were able to examine the ship and bring back thousands of items, such as clothes and letters and other and other personal things. These things have helped historians understand more about the people who sailed on the Titanic. It's an interesting paragraph and an interesting film we all watched. Okay, what was the name of the ship? Titanic, correct? It was for passengers, for travelers. Unsinkable, not able to sink, not able to drown or to dive. Okay, now iceberg, I will show you the picture later on. Voyage, it means a journey by ship beneath, underwater, uh, sorry, under, yes, under. Now historians, people who study history, drowned. Okay, we can say dive underwater, but when the people are died underwater, okay, they, they, uh, sorry, people, I'm so sorry, people died underwater, they are dead, okay, dead underwater, they die underwater, I'm sorry, here, okay, what was the name of the ship? Titanic. It was for passenger. It was an amazing ship. 
nobody believed or thought it would uh, it would sink or it could sink but it sank it hit an ice where okay when it was going where to new york some explorers or some okay explorers they found what some items like clothes clothes letters personal things okay some historians some explorers some people okay this is the history of the titanic okay what i want from you just briefly the story of the Utiche ship and the story of the titanic ship okay on whatsapp with your voices okay thank you after we finish the reading let's go and answer exercise 3 page 72 the same page okay it sank in 1622 at Touche. Okay, according to the paragraph we're having. Number two, it only sailed once. The passenger ship, Titanic. This is Spanish ship, this is passenger ship. Number three, it had lots of treasure. Okay, inside. Atouche, the Spanish ship. Number four, it was sailing in the Atlantic, the Titanic ship. It was built in 1911, Titanic. See, capital because it's a name. It was lost for over 360 years, Atouche. Okay? The answer of the paragraph. Find the words in the text to match the pictures and definitions. Okay, I explained some, and here are some. Went down underwater, sank, as I told you, sink, sank, sunk. Okay, sank. When the diver sink underwater, sank. Verb, try to find, search. A long journey by ship, voyage. A storm, hurricane. Number five, to die after being underwater for too long, drown. There is a difference between sank and drown. Sank or sink, the present sink and sank, okay, go underwater, but drown, die, die, pass away underwater. Clue number six, the key of something, a piece of information that helps you find an answer. Clue seven, ship, wreck. This is a ship and wreck. It's a broken, it's damaged, destroyed. Eight, iceberg. This is what, when, the, when Titanic hit the iceberg. This is the picture of iceberg, okay? These are the rest of the word. Study them carefully and correctly. Let's now go to page 75, student book, 75. The, the writing and the rest of the workbook later on, okay? Page 75. Here, a collection of special and valuable objects. Valuable, it means expensive. What is it? What is the word? 
We studied this, the first lesson, the history, when the kids were looking for something, and we studied when we read the article about the Titanic and the Otisha ships. Okay? Here, treasure. Treasure. Okay, collection of valuable objects. Something, something valuable, something expensive, valuable. Which direction do the children walk in the story? South. They wanted north, but they went to the th south. They missed, uh, they missed their way and they went to the south. Make this verb into a noun. See, explore is a verb. I want to explore. He is an explorer. Complete the sentence. This is the mountain, mountain, which or that. See, I can take which or that. Because mountain is a thing, I use which, and I told you we can use that also. Complete the sentence, Joe is a boy, okay, lives next door. Who or that? For the boy, I use who. For the mountain, I use which. For both, I can use that. Number six. Complete the sentence. These are the CDs my brother gave me. Which or that? CDs. It's a thing. Where was the Titanic traveling to when it hit an iceberg? An iceberg. It was traveling to New York. See? It was traveling to New York and it hit what? It hit the iceberg. And we said that everyone thought that it, wo it wouldn't sink. It wouldn't sink. Okay? Now, number eight. A long journey by ship, voyage. A long journey, voyage. Number nine, complete the sentence. I like sweet food, such as chocolate, as. Okay? Complete the sentence. I'd like some new clothes, for example. This is the word for. Always we say for example. And I always tell you for example. Jeans and t-shirt. Good luck. And see you soon.